Hey, how's it going guys? Just wanted to do a quick video on my Guamuchil tree. Uh, this tree has other names, um, like the Manila Tamarind, Madras Thorn, uh, Sweet Inga, Black Bead, Yakur, and it has a lot, a lot of other names actually, but I, I know it as the Guamuchil. They are native to Mexico and some parts of Central America. In uh, Mexico, uh, when I visited uh, Guadalajara, I seen them about 50 feet tall. But here in San Diego, the biggest one I've seen was about 20 feet tall. It's got small, small leaves on it. It actually has thorns too. Really hard to see, but it's small, small thorns. So you gotta be careful around it. Um, and it is a fruiting tree. It's a nitrogen fixer. And I'm going to put a picture here of uh, what the fruit looks like. So, I like this fruit. It has many health benefits. It's high in uh, vitamin C, high in iron. Um, but you know many people don't like it I'm not even gonna try to describe the the taste because it's one of those fruits that's just pretty hard to describe it you know um, what I also like about this tree is that it's actually very easy to take care of I mean I don't really need to do anything to it that's why see here where where I planted it it's on the top of a slope where other trees would uh, probably not do so well because uh, the ground dries out pretty fast right here because it's so well drained um, there's gophers in this area But this tree, with a little bit of water, does great. It can definitely take the, the heat. And, as you can see, it can take cooler weather, no problem. I mean, here in San Diego, it doesn't get very cold. Um, this is February... Uh, 12th today I think so it's still a little cool out today but not much so I planted it here because like I said you know not a very good location for other types of trees and then I wanted some uh, privacy also there, there's my house right here get some privacy because um, it is a fast growing tree this thing was about half this size about a year and a half ago when I planted it now it's about 10 feet tall it's a tree that really doesn't need much pruning Right here, maybe, you know, I'm probably going to have to prune some of these branches here so that they don't scratch the cars when we drive by. But other than that, I'm just going to let it take off. Like I said, it's a nitrogen fixer, so that's pretty cool. It's a member of the pea family. It's a... 
fairly drought tolerant tree so once they're established like I said they don't require too much water although I like to water it a little more when it's uh, flowering and it'll flower in the springtime and you normally harvest the fruit late spring or you know throughout the summer so it's a nice tree There's thorns on the on the main trunk too. No thorns on the well actually this is the main trunk right here. Oh yeah, I feel I feel a couple thorns in the back there, so this is a tree. That's another reason actually why I I put it right here on the on the side of the property instead of like down there where the rest of the trees are kind of out of the way over here so that's the guamuchil tree and they're pretty rare even here in san diego you don't see very many of them i know of like two or three guamuchil trees in this area and they're both about 20 feet tall and then um the guy i bought this one from down the street he still has like maybe 10 of them in pots, which probably need to be planted soon or they're gonna go root bound. But that's the guamuchil tree guys. Really, really easy tree to take care of. Nice looking. So. Let me know in the comments if you've heard of this tree. Is this the first time you hear about it? And like the video if you like it. You won't hurt my feelings, be honest. If you don't like it, just hit that thumbs down. It's okay with me. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.